Hey everybody, it's Heather Nichols and it's time for another Make It Monday. It's July and so I'm doing a Christmas in July card today and we're going to learn how to color with white pigment ink as we make this snowman card and tag set. First of all, I'm going to cut the tag. This is tag sale number three die right through my cuddle bug. So I've got my little cutting sandwich going on there and I'm going to cut, um, cut a couple of tags to use for this project. If you haven't used this die before, it has the cutest little embossed polka dot border on it. One of my favorites. So I'm going to color with my Copic markers first before I start coloring with white ink. Because if you know anything about Copic markers, you should know that the white ink will contaminate your Copic markers. So make sure that if you're going to do any sort of coloring, you're not going to touch your white ink. Um, so do it before or don't color over the white ink. It'll just preserve your markers and it's not just the markers, uh, and not just the tips, it's also the markers themselves. It'll suck up the, the pigment in there. So I'm just coloring my little mittens red and doing a little bit of blending to get that done. Here are the different things that I use to color with white ink. They're basically just sponge daubers and you can find them in different sizes at craft stores. Um, you can use a Q-tip, you can use a sponge. Um, just kind of look in your tools and see what you can find. And so really I'm putting the sponge dauber into the ink and I'm sponging the ink onto my image. And I'm going right over like the eyes and the buttons and you can stamp this over the top if you want. It's a personal preference and you'll decide what you like the more that you use this technique. So like I said, I'm sponging in. Um, the little daubers I'll use if I've got details um, to work on on my image and pretty much I'm just building up the ink. You know, little layers at a time of ink. You don't want to go too much to start with. You just want to start light and build more ink on top. It's easier to add ink than to take it away. Here I'm using the smaller size dauber just to kind of get um, around the head and get some detail put in um, and just making sure that I have the coverage that I want onto the image. I really like this image a lot. You know I like to use craft paper and to use it and do snowmans. Using this technique to do some coloring adds a Another extra pop or detail to your card. The little snow on the bottom there, that's from the holiday button bit set, that little line. Then I decided to take that little dauber, and while I had my white ink out, I did my own little polka dot snowflakes. So this is kind of like you could use a pencil eraser for this, but if you've got the little dauber, this works just fine. I think it adds a fun little whimsical look to it. Now I'm also going to do that same polka dotting on this little strip of ripe avocado to kind of pull my project together as I work on my layout. There you can see I've got my two tags and I'm using a pure poppy card base and I've got a couple label die cuts from the label basics set. I'm almost finished stamping this little strip. This is going to go on the bottom edge of the card. There we go. Here's kind of my general idea of my card layout. Um, I decided to add a little extra shimmer. This is a Stardust pen. It's one of the Jelly Roll Sakura pens. And this is my favorite technique. Just draw a little line where you want the glitter to go and then just use your finger to just kind of smudge the ink while it's still wet just to scatter the shimmer onto the card. So this is just to add a little extra frostiness to your snowman. And it's pretty easy to do. I like using it a lot on my projects that I do. I think I have about 20 of these pens laying around. And there you go, just a little extra something. And of course we're going to ink the edges with white ink. I did the tag and the strip and the card base. And here I'm going to attach the polka dot strip to the bottom of the card base. Get it the way you want it. Then I have a little bit of overlap and I just use a scissor to cut that off. I know some people like using the X-Acto knife and that's just fine. It's total preference. And of course I gotta add, do a little touch up there with a little white ink on the edge of that card. And then for the tag that's going on the card I'm just using some white twill and I'm just tying a simple knot at the top of the tag so that it finishes my tag off for the card. 
putting it onto the card front with some dimensionals. I like to be generous with dimensionals. I don't want parts of my card image collapsing. So we'll just stick that right on there. That little glitter strip too, you might remember um, last holiday season I had some of that put together and um, I pulled some of it out of the little box on my desk of stamped things. Here's the tag and I'm just stamping the little sentiment right on the tag. At first I thought I might use a label but I, it just seemed like it covered up too much of the image so I'm stamping the sentiment right onto the snowman and I think it's pretty cute. It goes with the whimsical look of the little dot snowflakes and everything and these um, sentiment is from the holiday tree set. Now for just the tag, just to add a little extra, I did some ripe avocado twill with the white and then I tied a pure poppy button on with some rustic jute button twine. And that finishes up our card and tag for this project. Let's see your projects that you do by coloring with white pigment ink. You can get all the details on Nicole's blog on sharing that and with your chance to win for the end of the week. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thank you.